Hey guys, so for today's video, I created this purple halo eye using my palette with Sigma. I asked you guys what other kind of color combos you want to see, and a lot of people said the purple shade 2015, so of course I had to do that for you guys today, and I love how this eye look turned out. So if you want to see how I got this eye look, go ahead and keep on watching, but before we get started, this video is kindly sponsored by Scentbird. So I have worked with Scentbird many times, and I truly love their fragrance subscription. They carry over 600 designer fragrances, ranging from brands like Prada to Gucci and more indie brands like Skylar and Confessions of a rebel. So with Scentbird you get to pick out a new designer fragrance every month for just $17 but with my code AngelaBright55 you'll get 55% off your first month. So the fragrances come in this little travel friendly vial and they have so many fun colors of this. I love this like bright green one. And to use the fragrance you just unlock it and then the case does come apart easily so you can see what fragrance you have inside. And you can also like mix and match the cases. So let's go over the three fragrances that I picked out for this month. So first I picked out Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. This is so such a classic fragrance. I know this is like so many people's wedding fragrance because it's just so pretty. So this one has notes of blackberry, jasmine flower, and white woods. Spray it on the card here. It's just so good. Like, I feel like this would smell amazing on everyone. The next fragrance I got is Nativa Jamaica. So this one says it's a warm tropical fragrance with notes of vanilla in it. So this one has notes of musk, vanilla, vetiver, and plumeria. And this is a new brand to me, so I'm excited to see what this smells like. It definitely is just warm, sexy vanilla. It kind of gives me um, bronze goddess vibes from Estee Lauder, which is like one of my favorite summer fragrances ever. I'm gonna put this one on today. I wanna smell like this. <laughs> and then the last fragrance I got is the Mason 21G Terrific Tonka. This is a warm, nutty, and woody scent. It has notes of bergamot, cardamom, black pepper, tonka bean, and nutty. And this is another brand I'm not super familiar with, so it's just fun to try a new brands with Sunbird. I know that sometimes I get so stuck in just the brands that I see at like Sephora, you know, like that's where I shop for my fragrances, but it's cool to try some new things. Ooh, this one's kind of a different scent. I don't know exactly what I'm smelling but I really like that. This definitely is a pretty warm scent. I think it'll be good like going into fall, like towards the end of summer, this will be a good one for them. So those are the three fragrances that I got this month. I'm definitely most excited for that Jamaica one. Totally new to me, but it reminds me of Bronze Goddess, which I love. So again, if you wanna check out Scentbird, I will leave a link down below for you. And again, the code AngelaBright55 will get you 55% off your first month. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this part of the video. And now let's get into this eyeshadow tutorial. All right, I know you guys have been asking for a purpley look with my palette. So that's what we're doing today. So I already primed my eyes with the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna make sure that's nicely sitting on my skin, tap it in with my finger. And for my brushes today, I'm gonna be using my Sigma Favorites brush set. So I'm gonna start with the shade Bare on a Sigma E28. And I'm gonna start by packing this shade in my crease just to kind of set down my primer. I'm feeling a little sweaty right now, honestly. So this is gonna kind of help make sure that my eyeshadow doesn't really move. And I'm mostly just setting my crease area since that's where most of the blending happens. I kind of leave my lid alone. I like to leave my lid a little bit tacky. And this shade is so close to my skin tone that it barely shows up, but that is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna start with my Sigma E42 in the shade 2015. And I think I wanna do a little bit of a halo eye. So I'm gonna start by tapping the shade on the outer and inner corner of my lid. And I'm gonna lightly connect those shades right in the center of my crease. So I'm leaving the center of my lid blank right now. And then now that there's less product on my brush, I'm gonna slowly start to blend out this shade, just kind of pulling it outwards. And the cool thing about this shade is that like it's technically a shimmer, but if you use it a certain way, it can almost look matte. So it's kind of funny. So I have been on YouTube like this whole week and every single day I get on and I search Sigma X Angela Bright eyeshadow palette, right? Because I want to see everyone's looks with it. I want to see people's thoughts and opinions. Like I just, I want to hear what people have to say about my palette, obviously. And I'm like liking and I'm commenting on everything I see. And this one girl, I don't remember her name, but she thought the purple 
purple shade of my palette was matte because I guess in the campaign photos it looks kind of matte but it's not it's obviously kind of a shimmer with a little sheen to it but it's kind of cool because you can make it look a little bit softer like a matte eyeshadow all right so I have this shape kind of mapped out and like it looks good but we definitely have to blend out this super harsh line right there so on the same brush I'm gonna pick up more bare and I'm just gonna start to blend around the edges that look super harsh Now look at how much softer that looks just with using Bare to blend out. Like, do you guys see why this shade was necessary for my palette? All right, I caught this eye up to what we're doing over here. Now I'm just gonna touch up the purple right on the outer and inner corner of my eye just to make sure it's nice and deep right here and it just slowly kind of blends out. Not slowly, softly. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking so far. Now I'm gonna take the shade at Champagne Problems on my finger. Here's what it looks like on my finger and that's gonna go on the center of my lid. Oh, I just love that shade on the center of the lid. Like this shade is made for a halo eye like this. Now I'm just gonna go back to my E42 with no product on it and just kind of softly blend around Champagne Problems. Make sure the blend looks nice into 2015. If you wanted to be a little crazy today, you could put Hollywood instead of Champagne Problems here if you really wanted to pair like the yellowy and the purple together. That's a fun look as well. All right, I went ahead and did my face makeup off camera. I wanna work on this blend a little bit more before we move on to the lower lash line, so let's do that. I'm gonna take a Sigma E27 and a little bit of the shade Basic. So I'm just taking a little bit of this and adding it into the upper crease just to kind of blend a little bit more. I feel like I needed a little more like definition too. So I wanted this pop of just this light brown. Just like that step, I feel so much better about this. I'm literally taking the smallest amount on my brush. I'm gonna go right in here to the inner crease. So I'm just going right around the purple. And I don't wanna to add too much brown because I don't want it to get muddy. Like I still want the purple to pop. So just very softly and gently adding this basic shade. Then I am gonna touch up 2015 just a little bit more. I always go back and forth with the layering up my shadows. So here's what it looks like with basic added and this is what it was before. So I feel like this just looks better to me. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm kind of stuck on what I want to do because I feel like there's a couple things I could do. I could take the blue deep shade PDX and do that on my lower lash line if I wanted to kind of stick with the colorful theme, but I'm also kind of leaning towards using cold brew and just using the dark brown down there because I definitely want to add a darker color down here. I could even add 2015, so you got some options. I think I'm going to do cold brew, so I am going to clean off my E42 on my Sigma Switch and I'm gonna dip into cold brew. And this is another really pigmented shade, so I just have a little bit of this on the tip of my brush, and I'm gonna blend that along my lower lash line. Okay, so even though I kind of cleaned off this brush on my Sigma Switch, I feel like there was still a little bit of purple left over, and that purple mixed with the brown cold brew, it's making like a soft kind of purpley brown, and I kind of love that. I did dip back in, I'm adding some more. Now on this brush, I'm gonna mix some basic with bare and just kind of soften out the edges of cold brew. So I'm not going on top of the shadow, I'm going right below where it meets my skin. tie the look together a little bit more so I'm thinking either taking some cold brew and adding that to the outer and inner corner to kind of bring more brown into the look or bring 2015 down to the lower lash line so I could kind of do that either way okay I'm just kind of having fun playing around here so I'm gonna take more cold brew and let's go in the very outer corner so this is gonna deepen up the purple a little bit to give it a little more depth I'm really liking cold brew and 2015 together like I honestly haven't mixed these shades together yet 
how it makes like a deep purple, like almost like a plummy purple. I love this. See how bringing the shade that was on my lower lash line up to my upper lid just kind of makes the look seem more cohesive in a way. So here it is without cold brew on the top lid and with cold brew. I definitely like this a lot. And I feel like I've used this E42 for like this whole look. I love this brush so much. Again, I am using the brushes from my brush set today. And I do believe there are some bundles still left if you want to get my palette and brush set together. I'm cleaning off my E42 again. Now I'm gonna pick up the shade Bright and we're gonna pop that in the inner corner and right under the brow. All right, I went ahead and popped on my mascara and lashes. I also added a little bit of a black liner to my top lash line and a little bit of black to my lower lash line as well, just because I wanted a little more like depth to the look. And for my lashes today, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes in the style Adorn. Now, to be honest, I don't wear this style a lot, but I like to wear this lash when I have a really pretty eyeshadow look and I still want you to be able to see the eyeshadow through the lashes, if that kind of makes sense, just because these lashes are so like kind of wispy and PC that it doesn't like disrupt the eyeshadow look it's not covering it up at all all right and here's what the full face looks like on my lips I'm wearing my project pan lip combo so it's my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and iconic nude I mean I pretty much wear this every day anyways and then my Fenty gloss bomb and fussy on top and then for my blush I wanted a pretty soft blush so I'm just wearing the essence pure nude baked blush in shimmering rose I can't get enough of these blushes they're so good I'm super happy with how this eye look turned out it was kind of different like I didn't really know where I was going at first but I knew I wanted to use the purple 20 15 shade and then mixing that purple with the dark brown cold brew just made this really cool like plummy color so I love this color combo today so as always I'll link my palette and my brush set down below for you again they are still available in a bundle again if you want to check out Scentbird and their fragrance subscription the code angelabright 55 will get you at 55% off your first month so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe